Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our next machine, which is going to be the pie oven. So let's get started. The first thing, I'm going to pop the balloon and let's see what we get. So we just got some 50 XP. And wait a minute, I. Mm, that's weird. I remember asking for help on the other crates as well. Okay, that's weird. I really didn't know what happened here. So we're having some booster packages and some weekly deals, which I never purchased. Oh, what happened? Oh, I wasn't going to purchase anything. Go back. Okay, so we are having this... Um, yeah, it's expansion permit spin the wheel event and I'm just gonna spin this and let's see what do we get I don't know. There are a lot of cool things. We're having a puzzle piece as well There's like a blanket and I'm so glad that we can get more than just one item Because it's usually a waste. We also get like wheat which is insane. So I am oh, That's awesome. Just got a blanket. That's I think worth it. It's very expensive, so that's a good thing. We're just going to do that once again, and let's see what do we get now. I'm hoping for either the expansion permit or the puzzle piece, but I really don't know what I'm going to get, so fingers crossed. And it's going to be, um, uh, I missed that again. Just got a magic beagle. I'm not going to spend any more diamonds there. Oh, my boat is done, so Betty Poop helped me again, so thank you for that. All right, I'm just going to send the boat. I just got one puzzle piece, which is cool. So for the next boat, I need the ice banana latte. I need sushi roll and the blue sweater. So where's my loom? I'm going to put a lot of blue sweaters. I have six. I think I'm just going to put a bunch more. And for the sushi, I'm not even sure if I have enough rice. I do have a lot of sushi there. No, I'm low on rice, so I'm going to plant rice. There we go with the rice. All right, there we go. That's it for the fields. So I'm going to put this machine into the spotlight so that we can see and check in more detail of... Wait, oh, that was insane. I hate when this happens, like, mistakenly when I tap my machine somewhere else. And I'm going to put my loom away. So there we go. This is your pretty, pretty pie event. So let's just have a close look at the design of this machine. Alright guys, so having a close look at the design of this machine, we can see it's a kind of a brick red colored oven. And then there's a chimney at the top, and you guys can also see these are probably the doors of the oven, which are black and green color. And at the left hand side, we can also see there's a barrel filled with floor, I don't know what's that. And there's a wooden table and chairs, a lot of details and a good design, and I do like it. So the mastery of this machine is also a little bit different. You're going to run it for 40 hours to get the first star, 160 hours for the second star, and 640 hours for the final star, which means all the products will be produced 15% faster. So here's my pie oven, which is fully mastered. As you guys can see, there's a star, and I have all the slots open, and I do recommend opening all the slots as soon as you start leveling up. Now, this is kind of a machine in the game that makes a lot of products ranging from low level to higher levels. Some of them are pretty easy to make, some of them could be a little bit difficult, which we will be talking in more detail. So, a little background information, this machine unlocks at level 14, the same level when you get the Tom, and it's going to cost you 2,200 coins. It's only going to take about 12 hours to be built, so you can purchase this at night and by the morning this will be ready to open so i'm just gonna start by the products there are a lot of products i think that's like um six nine eleven total products i guess so the first product that unlocks at level 14 is the carrot pie now before i start talking about the products basic things that you always need to have if you make a make a lot of pies are the wheat and eggs which ironically I'm all, always short of when I need them. So they're not that hard to get wheat. You can always find the paper. X could be a little bit challenging sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if it's only me. Because I never get enough eggs. I never get enough eggs. I'm like always short on eggs. So I always need eggs. And luckily, if I'm lucky, I can sometimes find them in the paper. They're not that hard. You can actually find them. But the thing is just about the right time. So the wheat can also be found in the paper. Or it just only takes about two minutes. So it's... Not that of a problem, and I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Okay, so here, oh no, somebody bought them. That's crazy. Why does that happen? So, um, 
you can see the weed is also in there. People are selling weed in eggs, but right now we're having the peanuts apocalypse, which is insane. So I'm not sure how many eggs do I have in my barn. Let me just have a look. No, I've only got three, and I need to make, like, 11 pies, so I need at least 11, and I'm not even sure if my chickens have some eggs. Yeah, I do have a couple of them, so I'm just gonna feed them. Alright, there we go. Just gonna feed all of them. So, and now I'm gonna come to the products. The first product is the carrot pie. It's gonna take one hour or 51 minutes. It's just gonna need two eggs, one, um, two wheat, and one egg as usual as any other product and you're gonna need three carrots very simple to make it's not that hard and this machine is actually relatively very easy to fully master because all the products are easy and they do take a lot of time and secondly you can make a lot of coins by the products of this machine the second is the pumpkin pie level 15 two wheats one egg usual just gonna need three pumpkins gonna take two hours or 142 minutes gonna unlock at level 15 the next is a bacon pie, gonna need three bacons. I'm not gonna talk about the wheat and eggs anymore because they are the same, so I'm just gonna skip them out. It's gonna take three hours or two hours and 33 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Um, I tend to keep about 10 of each pie because they're really important. They're used up a lot in the town, in the truck otters, and in the boats as well. The next is the apple pie, a little different ingredients, you're just gonna need one syrup as well, which you can get from your sugar mill, so make sure you keep your sugar mill running, and you're gonna need a lot of apples as well, so you're gonna need three apples just to make one apple pie, which is kind of insane, but that's okay. The next is fish pie, which I'm actually, I have only one, which is crazy. It's gonna need a lot of fish, um, three fish, and it unlocks at level 28. Apple pie also unlocks at level 20, so these two products are at the same level. And yeah, that's a lot of fish, so make sure you guys open your fishing area as soon as you reach level 28, or you can get them from your neighbors, or you can trade them, whatever. And the next product is the Feta Pie Level 34, my favorite. It's gonna need one goat cheese in here. Now, goat cheese you can get from your dairy. This could be a little bit challenging because goat cheese takes a lot of time. It takes one hour and 30 minutes. So, yeah, make sure you have goat cheese. Make sure you always have enough dairy in your barn. So that will not be a problem. And now I'm out of eggs, so I don't know what's going to happen, but let's just go to the paper so that I can get eggs. Oh, I'm just getting milk, and I'm going to get the milk, and I'm just going to get the wheat. Let's pray I get the eggs, or I don't know what I'm going to do. No, there are no eggs. Oh, but I do need the pumpkins. Let's get them. Okay, there we go. And that's a mystery box, so three, two, one, here we go. I don't know why it's only me, but I haven't got a single diamond from the mystery box in months. It's been crazy. Like, I don't know why did that happen. Has Haiti changed that? What I get are always the boosters and the vouchers. It's just the boosters and the vouchers. And it's insane. I really miss the diamonds. It's been like more than seven or eight months. I haven't got a single diamond. I remember getting diamonds, like five diamonds, sometimes even 25 diamonds. And I don't know why that's happening. This is really, really insane. So I'm probably just going to wait until I get some eggs and then I'm just going to continue the video. So just stay tuned. Alright guys, so luckily I found the eggs and I'm just going to continue the product. So the next product is a casserole, going to need a lot of rare items. So you're going to need eggs, potatoes, bacon, and cheese. It's going to get ready in 2 hours or 1 hour and 42 minutes. I've got 10, so I'm not going to make one. The next is the shepherd's pie, which is going to need a lot of things and it's my favorite too. I make this a lot. So you're going to need 2 potatoes, 2 carrots, 2 pumpkins, and 2 bacon. So, yep. And now we're going to come to the high-level products, which is the lemon pie, level 67. Going to get ready in 2 hours, 15 minutes, or 154 minutes on a fully mastered machine. I'm going to put one there. The next unlocks at level 76, the peach tart. You're going to need cream here, and of course the peaches. So I'm just going to get some peaches, and I'm going to make one. These are the rare products, and you, you should probably not sell them. So the final product of this machine unlocks at level 99, pretty high-level product. You're going to need four brinjals or eggplants, one cheese, one tomato sauce. Tomato sauce you can get from your actual sauce maker. It's going to need um, two tomatoes, one lemon, and one brown sugar. So basically, all the products in this game in Haiti are interconnected. For example, you're going to need 
um, sauce maker, um, the tomato sauce to make the actual eggplant parmesan. And then you're gonna need to make the tomato sauce in here and you're gonna need brown sugar. And for brown sugar, you're gonna need sugar canes. And for sugar canes, you're gonna need to, to wait till they get ready. So it's like a very tricky thing in the game. All right, so that was it for the products. Um, some of them are really easy to make. Some of them are kind of difficult to make, but we're gonna come to the shop and we're gonna do a little analytics of all the products. So let's start. I do make a lot of carrot and pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pies, you can also find them in the paper. They are not that rare. So one for 150 coins, I think it's basic. It's not that um, expensive. Um, and 10 for 1,584, which is cool. The carrot pie is also not that expensive. One for 82, 10 for 8, 8 28, I guess. So yeah, 828. And the casserole, now these are the rare products. You can sell them to make a lot of coins, like one for 367 coins, pretty high price, and 10 for 3,600, which is very expensive indeed. And then the next we have is the peach tart. A one for 435 coins, 10 for over 4,000 coins. That's pretty expensive. Again, one shepherd's pie for 280 coins. I do make a lot of them and I do sell them. It's a very good way to make money. And 10 for over 2,800 coins. One bacon pie for 290 coins, 10 for over 2,000 coins. Again, a good way to make money in the game. So we're going to come down to the... All right, so we have the eggplant parmesan. I never sell them, basically. They're, this is like a very high-level product. And when you're at this level, you don't really need coins. So, yeah, I don't recommend recommend selling this. Actually, it's very expensive, though. So one for 442 for coins, 10 for over 4,000 coins. And... If I come down over here, I okay, so I have lemon pie, which is, oh my god, also very expensive, 446 coins again. These are really rare, you cannot find them in the paper, and they're a pretty good way to make money if you want to sell them. And then I knew I have, like, the fish pie, one for 226 coins, basic price, and 10 for over 2,200 coins. And let me see if I have any other product left to talk about. Mm, no, I think I haven't. Yeah, I think I've talked about everything. So that was it for this machine. There's some basic things that you need to know. Wheat and eggs are really important. And of course, a lot of vegetables, for example, carrots, pumpkins, and apples, cheese, bacon, stuff like that. And then it's very easy to fully master the machine. It's not that hard, of course. Um, it's a good way to make money as well. So that was it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos I'll be posting. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.